We're here today at the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources Visitor and Education Center. Today we're going to visit the Duck Shack in the Explorium and get a taste of history here on Horicon Marsh. Wildlife Federation's The Hide. Welcome back, everyone. Mark Kakich, special guest of the show today is Cody Komorowski, the new executive director for the Wisconsin Wildlife Federation. Welcome, Cody, and congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Mark, for having me on. And uh, I've been on a month and a half now, so it's, it's pretty fresh, pretty new, learning a lot of things. But Pretty new fun. gig, right? I mean... I, w I don't want to say maybe a lifelong dream, but I think since we've known each other, I, I think this was on the radar for you as to get to this executive director uh, position and see how you can change the organization and, and bring it, you know, in, into a new era with a different level of relevancy in, in, in the conservation arena. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, at our last board meeting, that was the buzzword I wanted to use was relevancy. And if we want to be an organization to propel generations to come, we're going to have to focus on the word relevancy. Well, Cody, we're doing a lot um, in conjunction, partnering with the Department of Natural Resources on some of the Learn to Hunt programs focused on, you know, bringing in kids coming out of young adults coming out of college with uh, some type of natural resources degree, but don't really have a whole bunch of hunting or trapping or even fishing experience. And I think, you know, bringing someone in in, in the age group where you're at with a natural resources background, I think mm -hmm. being able to reach that age demographic and being brought through and, and kind of mentored by, you know, an older age demographic gives you a, a very good balance and seeing what, you know, how the past got us to where we're at mm -hmm. and then how we're going to go into the future together. And I think, you know, you're the man to do it. I I hope I am. I mean, there's there's a lot of work to do in Wisconsin and just in the natural resources field in general in, in the state. Well, let, let's start, Cody. Tell us about you. Tell us about how you became the executive director. Oh, gosh, I'll start way back when. So um, I've been out of college about eight years now. So I I grew up in the La Crosse area on the, the western side of the state, was chasing uh, all sorts of critters outside on the Mississippi River, uh, hiking, camping. And um, I, I had a deep passion for natural resources. And that kind of steered me in the direction of going to college, studying natural resources. And I tell everybody I was, I was terrible at math and science, but I... Amen. Yeah. Whew. And uh, I, I really valued natural resources, but I was not smart enough to be a biologist. But I, I really enjoyed human dimensions of natural resources. So I ended up studying uh, political science, public administration, and then uh, natural resources focus and emphasis. And uh, it led me down the route to pursue policy. And uh, I was introduced to the Wisconsin Wildlife Federation as a freshman in college. And uh, I've been involved with WWF ever since uh, as a board member, as a Conservation Leadership Corps graduate, and then uh, later on uh, becoming a board member of the National Wildlife Federation and then uh, hired on as a staff member, and then now executive director. And here you are, and right? here I you're, am. You're holding the reins of the beast, taking us in, you know, 2024, 2025, and beyond. And I think one of the things that you mentioned is the CLC program, mm -hmm. right? And I think, you know, later when we do a show on the CLC, it kind of will focus in on that younger generation going to and coming out of the School of Natural Resources, as well as, you know, they don't have to be University of Stevens Point. Yeah, uh, any can college participate, can right? University. Any college can participate. I think what a great program uh, that that is. And if you take a look at who has graduated from that program and where they're at, you know, wow, you know, they're already leaving lasting impressions mm -hmm. and, and deep roots in the conservation world, right? Yeah, and uh, I was just at the Wisconsin Wetlands Association conference in the past couple days, and uh, I bumped into a couple of CLC graduates there, and they're uh, you know water biologists, fish biologists, foresters, wildlife biologists, and it was really cool to see where they they've 
started and where they are today. And uh, we, we had an impact in their, you know, professional development. So, all right. So you're, you're behind the wheel. You got the reins. Where are we going? Where's the Federation going to go in 24, 25? You know, what's our short-term goals under Cody Komarowski? Ooh, that is a tall order. There's a lot going on in the state of Wisconsin, um, you know, from a policy standpoint, habitat standpoint, as well as just uh, conservation issues that we need to focus on. Not short term. I'm talking long term, generational long impacts. And, uh, you know, the, the main big issue we have going on right now with uh, the department is the conservation funding issue in the fish and wildlife account. And this is going to be a tall, tall order for us to address. And, uh, you know, historically with the North American conservation model, conservation has been funded exclusively through hunting and angling and outdoor pursuits. And uh, we really want to start focusing on bringing other user demographics to the table to have these conversations and talk about funding. So, uh, you know, the silent sports, the non-consumptive user groups, they're passionate w for the outdoors just like we are. And uh, so I, my, it's my goal is to engage these audiences. So it's going to be me going to those meetings, having those conversations. And I'm, I'm excited. Well, as you know, we're, we're well underway making headway and forming that coalition to take mm -hmm. a look at how those funds are going to be raised and, and given to, you know, the department. You know, they're the benefactor yep. of those funds. So we'll see how we can improve on that. And, you know, so we don't end up in a deficit that we're currently facing right now. You know, you got, I don't know, wind farms potentially in the near future. You got solar farms coming up, right? We got other legislative um topics on the agenda, mm -hmm. right? There's a bunch of bills that have just passed a, another slate. You know, yep. they're looking at for late 24, possibly early 25, dealing with conservation. Uh, we just came out of, you know, I'm still feeling kind of bruised, you know, <laughs> wolf management plan. Yep. Um, those, the next two years are going to be filled with a lot of work. And I think, you know, we have to generate support from the public as well as our affiliates. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Federation has well over 200 affiliates and, you know, we need to grow that. And how does that fall in the year future? The affiliate model and the grassroots structure of the organization is, is truly one of a kind. Uh, there, there isn't another organization in Wisconsin that does it like we do and, and does it well. Our, I mean, we cover every corner of the state of Wisconsin and an affiliate is a local separate nonprofit or you know rod and gun club that chooses to affiliate with us and help us achieve our mission work and you know i think we're at like 215 affiliates right now and uh, predominantly hook and bullet focused and uh, my goal is to try to bring in other groups and demographics obviously we we have to you know support our historical kind of roots as an organization and, and keep that going, but also in getting some additional uh, viewpoints with the organization as well. You know, we just wrapped up our calendar sales. You know, George Meyer hit the ground running yeah, last did. year and he probably had a, he probably wore out a couple pair of tennis shoes and tires yeah. peddling calendars all over the state. You know, we hit record levels of calendar mm -hmm. sales and it comes to the basics of fundraising, you know, and that falls underneath, you know, the purview of the executive director yep. as well. And uh, I, I wish you the best of luck, you know, raising <laughs> millions of dollars for the Wildlife Federation. Yeah, it's it's a challenge. Um, and right now in in America and um, you know, and in Wisconsin especially, we we're having a very large demographic shift from the baby boomer generation. So right now we're actually experiencing, and feels maybe like a podcast or a financial podcast right now, <laughs> but we're experiencing the largest transition of wealth right now. So that could play a really big. I don't have any. Yeah. Just want to let <laughs> you know. Don't ask. Yeah, and it could play a significant role in ensuring long-term sustainable funding for organizations. And the Wisconsin Wildlife Federation is is well suited to be involved in those conversations and talking about demographic shifts we're also talking about uh, hunting and angling recruitment as well um, a lot of the baby boomer generation engaged in those activities and the recruitment for you know previous generations my generation included uh, it's it's not as strong as it as it was and that's leading to the fish and wildlife account deficit that we're having at the department today so cody all that being said you got to be happy, right? Yeah, I'm 
thoroughly enjoying what I'm doing. It's it's great to meet new people and uh, you know share passions with everybody. You've you know you you've, you have a good slate of mentors to learn mm-hmm. from. Um, pretty soon you're going to be probably standing in front of the Natural Resources Board ad- addressing you know Bill Smith and his colleagues on the board next week, right? You know, we just had a meeting with uh, wildlife leadership, yep. you know, Eric Loebner and above, and that was fantastic, you know, kind of stressing the importance of partnerships. Yeah. And to end this today, what are some partnerships that, you know, you see a, a great value in here coming into 24-25? One partnership, um, and this might be a little bit more of an umbrella approach, but working with industry, working with commerce. I mean, Wisconsin is a very heavy uh, recreation-based economy and uh, really bringing those those key businesses to the forefront, I think is, is highly important. Um, not only from a, you know, getting it done standpoint, but from a political feasibility standpoint, if we're going to get stuff done in the legislature, in the governor's office, we're going to have to bring businesses to the table when, when we're talking about these conservation issues. So I see a lot of opportunity with, with businesses, but obviously all of the, the conservation groups and affiliates and individual members in the state as well. And Wisconsin has so many great uh, manufacturers from Vortex, Lacrosse, St. Croix Rods, you know, uh, boot manufacturers. We yeah. got Russell. I mean, there's so many outdoor manufacturers that we have in Wisconsin. People don't realize it. You know, when we, you know, a month or so ago, we were at Vortex and spent a, a day with Sawyer. And holy cow, where they yeah. came and, and where they're at right now. And, you know, aside from, you know, their recreational contracts that they have out there but you look at the military and law enforcement mm-hmm. contracts that they're landing you know they've solidified their future for the next 20 30 years in the yeah. optics business and then you take a look at their their give back to conservation is there as well and their commitment to the wildlife federation and other organizations to help out you know so I wish you nothing but the best of luck you know I've known you for a, I don't know how many years now and and now you're that guy with the federation I wish you you know, great things to come. And I hope that your dreams truly are met in this position and that you continue to grow. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mark. And I'm, I'm looking forward to growing with, with the support of you and the board members. Well, again, thanks, Cody. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Thanks, Chase Baker from Grit. Thanks a lot, Chase. Can't do it without you. Cody, great to see you. Can't wait to have you on again. Until next time, everyone, take care.